Good afternoon, or good morning, wherever you're listening in the world. You might hear my daughter and my grandson come in. They're, I think they just pulled up. They're going to be here like any second, so um, yeah, you might hear them. There's an article that came out four hours ago. It doesn't surprise me. I want to share with you guys, but first we're going to go over the good news. Through Revelation 3 verse 10, I have read this in my last video. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon the whole world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So what is this saying? This is saying that there's an hour of temptation coming to try everyone in the world, but some will be kept from it. That's the rapture. <coughs> you won't find the word Bible in the Bible either, but you know it's the word of God. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, your sins are washed clean. None of us are worthy, but our Heavenly Father loves us so much, He sent His only begotten Son, our Savior, our Yeshua, our King, that he who believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. So, if you want to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, don't let Satan put those thoughts in your head. Well, look what you've done. Look, you know. No. Thief on the cross, perfect example. Whatever you've done right here, right now, your sins can be forgiven. Jesus, I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. I believe you are the one and only Son of God who came down from heaven, born of a virgin. You lived a sin-free life. You took on my sin on the cross. You were crucified. But on the third day, you're alive. You're seated at the right hand of the Father. The shedding of your blood washes my sins clean. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Live for Jesus. These world leaders that stand on their platform and say, vote for me, vote for me. When the you-know-what start flying and coming down, you think they're going to let me and my family and you and your family go into their trillion-dollar shelters that we paid for? No. <clears throat> but Jesus loves you so much, he sacrificed himself for you. What he went through, and we don't deserve that. Hold on, let me see if this is still recording. One second, the dentist just tried to call my mom. I'm sorry, the dentist was just trying to call, so I had to put the recording on pause and let my mother know. Oh, I can't remember where I left off now, menopause. But, um, just put your faith and trust in Jesus, not these world leaders. Jesus loves you so much, he sacrificed himself for you. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. and I can't remember where I left off. Right here, right now, you can be saved. Don't be left behind. You think things are bad now? During the tribulation, they're going to be missing these days. Except Jesus is Lord and Savior, he loves you. This world... Ain't much left in it, man. There ain't nothing left in it. Now, this came up from Politico um, at 5 o'clock this morning. Governor Gavin Newsom. You know who he met with? Chinese President Jinping. Handshake and all. California Governor. <coughs> excuse me. Gavin Newsom met with Chinese President Jinping on Wednesday in Beijing. In the latest sign of thawing U.S.-China relations amid rising geopolitical conflicts, I don't believe that. I don't believe that our relations are thawing. In fact, I think they're intensifying. The Democratic governor has been in China this week on a visit. Bill is focused on climate change. <clears throat> Not climate change. It's it's judgment. <laughs> in line with California's nation-leading emissions policies. He said his meeting with the Chinese president focused on climate as well as fentanyl exports, which the Biden administration has been trying to curb through sanctions on Chinese chemical companies. Newsom described the fentanyl conversation as remarkably positive. The president was rather explicit about the desire to be even more specific in terms of what is needed. <coughs> Excuse me. In terms of calling out and identifying where these chemicals are going, Newsom told reporters after the meeting, Newsom's emphasis on climate change, judgment, and subnational cooperation in avenues for diplomacy between the U.S. and China may have paid off. I don't believe that. <coughs> Excuse me. The trip should have the way 
The trip should pave the way for a meeting between Joe Biden and Jinping at the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit in San Francisco next month in Newsom's hometown. Newsom said he encouraged Jinping to attend the summit and that we look forward to his response. <coughs> After the Chinese president received Secretary of State Anthony Blinken in June and a half a dozen senators early this month, his meeting with Newsom in the, is the latest signal that he is open to talks. I don't believe that. Blinken also announced Monday that he would host Chinese Foreign Ministry Wang, Wang Yi in Wednesday. In, I'm sorry, in Washington on Thursday. I think my daughter just got here. The timing of the trip has felt particularly fraught as Newsom flew in directly from meeting with war victims and leaders in Israel, to which Biden has pledged military support in its bombing in Gaza. China has advocated a ceasefire in the two-state solution. They all wanted. There will be a two. The Antichrist is going to appear and make calm out of chaos, and there will be a two-state. But Palestine will never get that land. Escalating tensions between the United States and China were reflecting in a breakdown of climate talks at the national level last February, where Special Climate Envoy John Kerry was rebuffed in July by President Jinping and emerged from meetings with his Chinese counterpart. Woo! Not gonna, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. Without any new climate agreement. In a speech the same week Kerry was in China, Jinping said China will follow its own path to achieve its emission reduction goals and will never be influenced by others. On stops in Hong Kong, ooh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that city, and now Beijing this week, Newsom, like former California Governor Jerry Brown before him, has continued to emphasize that progress and partnership on climate change <coughs> excuse me, between the world's two greater polluters is paramount. Sorry, that's a truck outside. He has focused on areas where California and China can share climate policy and technology and largely steered clear of areas of conflict between the two countries, like trade disagreements. China's militar militaristic, I might have said that wrong, boy, that's a tongue twister, stance towards Taiwan and its alignment with Russia in the Russian-Ukraine war. One second, I'm going to see if my, um, I think my daughter's here. One second. Yeah, my daughter just got here, so, um, let's see. Um, Newsom also discussed David Lin, a Cal Californian pastor jailed in China since 2006 with Chinese Vice President Han Zhang. We hope, say hello. Say hello. Hello. Say Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. <laughs> we hope he's released, Newsom said. I appreciate the work that has been done to reduce his sentence from a life sentence, but he still looks to be incarcerated through April 2029. Humbly, I submit on the basis of what I know that he should be released. He should. U.S. Ambassador Nicholas Burns accompanied Newsom to the meetings and praised his role at the first, as, as the first governor to visit China in more than four years. Quote, this was a very positive, consequential day for the U United States, he told reporters. I very much appreciated everything that the governor did to help us push this relationship forward in a positive way. I'm sorry. In a positive direction. Leo's in the in the uh, other room with my daughter. She's going, where is Leo? You know, you know he likes playing hide and seek. So, um, Oh, that's the end of the article. I'll leave the link in the description box. Um, I mean, it's always good to try, you know, and mend things. But this is China, man. You know, I mean, Bible prophecy is being fulfilled. Are there other... Reasons they're not telling us, I wouldn't doubt it, man. You know, it's Gavin Newsom, you know, and uh, it's um, it's the government. <laughs> it's like I don't, I don't vote, I don't trust any of them. So I'll leave the link in the description box. And if there's any more news, I will be back on. Um, I got kind of a busy day today. I'm watching my grandson. My mother's afraid of dentists, she's going to the dentist, she wants me to go, go with her. Then I got to make deliveries, so um. Jasmine didn't have number three last night. Yay. First time in like three days. So thank you for your prayers. And I pray for all of you every day. Um, if you've lost family members, I pray for you and um, your pets and your finances and um, your health. And I pray for all of you every day. I try to reply to as many comments as I can. I'm always so busy. Sometimes it's difficult, but I just want you guys to know I love you. 
You mean so much to me. I can't wait to meet y'all. And you're in my prayers. And keep looking up. Remember, we're all meeting at the marriage supper. I love you guys. God bless you. Hang in there. Time's short. Stay close to the Lord. God bless you. Talk to you soon.